Sometimes when you create animation, using the typical linear keyframes or easy ease keyframes just won't cut it. It's those kinds of times when I look to create more dynamic movement by adjusting keyframes using the graph editor. If we look at our project here, you'll notice I already have a layer that's animated with two linear keyframes. I'll move my current time indicator back to frame zero and press the space bar so you can see how bland this animation actually is. Yes, technically it's fine, it slides in and stops, but it's linear and it's not very engaging. So I'll press the space bar to stop playback and to fix the linear nature and actually have this move in a more smooth fashion, I'll go ahead and click on the word position so that both keyframes are selected. And then I'll right click on either one of the keyframes and go to the keyframe assistant and choose easy ease. You can also press F9 on your keyboard as long as those keyframes are selected. Once we've done that, if we press the space bar here, you'll notice now the motion is a little bit more smooth. Once it actually eases out of the first keyframe and into the next one, it doesn't stop quite as abruptly. Now, I'll press the space bar to stop playback because while this is interesting, it's still not quite dynamic. So, I'll start by clicking on the word position in the timeline to make sure both those keyframes are selected. And then I'll click this button here to open the graph editor. Inside the graph editor, you may or may not see something that looks like this. Let's make sure we're on the same page. I'm gonna to go to the second button from the left here at the bottom of the graph editor, and I'll click once and choose edit speed graph. Now, if yours already looks like this, you're already in the speed graph. Just make sure edit speed graph is selected. Now, in order to change how the motion of this object moves, I need to go ahead and select these keyframes again, but they aren't visually represented the same way. They're represented a little bit more like anchor points in this view. So I'm gonna click up here and hold my mouse down and drag a lasso around both of those squares to select both keyframes. And when I let go, they'll both be selected and I have these handles. Now, the velocity is set up with a baseline of zero down here at the bottom, and then this arc moves up. And at this point, this object is moving at around 2000 pixels a second, even faster than that. And then it slows down again. I want it to start slowly and then move quickly and then stop. So I'll click on this left handle and drag to the right. And notice now the graph will change. It's going to start slowly and then it'll move really quickly and then slow down rather quickly the same way. So I'll press the space bar here. And now you'll be able to see the motion is a lot more interesting. It kind of slides into the scene with authority and stops. Now, if I don't like this, I can press the space bar to stop playback and I'll press Control Z on Windows to undo or Command Z on the Mac to undo. And this time I'll click and drag on the right handle and I'll drag that to the left. So this way the velocity starts quickly and then it slowly stops. Let's press the space bar and preview that animation. Now, in the preview here, you could see it wasn't quite playing in real time, so it looked a little jerky as it was resolving, but as you can see, the overall motion is actually moving a little bit more slowly. So utilizing the speed graph is a nifty way to take movement of your typical keyframe animations from okay to something much more dynamic and engaging.